Ever since the backlash surrounding Disney's Snow White remake gained momentum and dominated the internet throughout the latter part of 2023, it became clear that Disney had to take some drastic steps to salvage the film. This project, in which the company had already invested hundreds of millions of dollars, wasn't just any movie, it was a reimagining of the classic tale that helped lay the foundation for Disney's entire brand. In response, the studio made the difficult decision to delay the release by a full year, opting to conduct multiple reshoots and make significant changes to the storyline in hopes of turning things around. Months went by with little to no updates about the movie, but then, Rachel Zegler, the actress cast in the lead role, re-emerged into the spotlight. This moment was widely seen as a type of Snow White apology tour where Zegler's tone about the project had noticeably shifted. She seemed to be more careful and thoughtful in her comments, clearly attempting to mend fences with the fans who had been vocally critical of the changes. Although this development might have been old news for many who were closely following the controversy, it set the stage for the latest wave of discussion that unfolded in the last few days. It appears that Disney's mission to save Snow White is still very much underway. Zegler recently spoke out on Disney's behalf during an interview that has been dubbed by some as another attempt at a Snow White apology. In this interview, she once again addressed the changes made to the film's story, attempting to justify them. This time, Zegler talked about a different interpretation of Snow White's character, mentioning that, in this version, Snow White survived a snowstorm when she was a baby. This experience inspired the king and queen to name her Snow White as a symbol of her resilience. This justification seemed to many fans like a clumsy attempt to explain the casting of a Hispanic actress in a role traditionally described as the princess with skin as white as snow. Ziegler's explanation felt awkward and out of place to critics who believe that these narrative changes are straying too far from the original fairy tale, while some audiences were always open to the idea of a more diverse casting choice. Others have been vocal about their dissatisfaction. The attempt to provide a backstory that links Snow White's name to her survival of a snowstorm instead of her pale complexion has left many unconvinced and even more skeptical. This sentiment has been a recurring issue for Disney, as similar backlash has followed changes to their beloved franchises like Star Wars and the Marvel Universe. Despite the predictable backlash, Disney's decisions continue to puzzle both fans and critics alike. Many are left wondering why the studio didn't choose to develop entirely new stories that would allow them to create diverse characters from scratch. By crafting a new fairy tale centered around a black, brown, or Asian princess, the controversy hasn't merely been about casting choices but also about the broader direction Disney seems to be taking with the adaptation. Rather than simply updating the character to reflect modern values, it appears that they are completely rewriting significant aspects of the original story fans of classic tales tend to resist major changes, particularly when they feel that those changes alter the essence of what they love about the story. Disney could attract a fresh fan base without inviting the same level of controversy or backlash. After all, nobody raised objections when a Chinese actress was cast to play Milan, a character already rooted in Chinese folklore, because it aligned with the character's cultural origin. Instead, Disney's strategy of altering classic characters seems to generate more friction than goodwill. It leaves longtime fans feeling alienated and new viewers uncertain about what to expect. The company's decision to stick with reinterpreting existing tales rather than creating new narratives might be a calculated risk, but it's one that continues to provoke heated discussions and a polarized audience response. At this point, it seems that Disney might inadvertently be creating more backlash than they anticipated, drawing criticism for their perceived unwillingness to develop original, culturally diverse stories that could stand on their own without reshaping beloved characters. The debate around Disney's approach to creating more diversity in their lineup of princesses has sparked considerable controversy, particularly when it comes to the method of race swapping existing characters. Many have expressed frustration over the repetitive use of race swaps in classic Disney remakes instead of crafting entirely new stories that naturally celebrate diverse cultures. If Disney genuinely believes that there is a lack of black or brown princesses, the solution could be to explore new fairy tales and folklore that represent different cultures, adding to the Disney catalog in a way that feels fresh and inclusive. By doing so, they could introduce diverse characters without altering the ones that audiences have grown up loving. Race swapping, at its core, often divides the fan base. Regardless of where one stands on the matter, it's clear that creating division among moviegoers isn't productive. 
movies are supposed to be a space where people come together to experience magic and storytelling that transcends race, culture, and background. Yet, with each new instance of race swapping, it feels like the focus shifts from the story itself to the controversy surrounding it, which overshadows the creative efforts put into the film. Take the example of Halle Bailey, who was cast as Ariel in Disney's live-action remake of The Little Mermaid Bailey has consistently come across as a talented and gracious individual, thrilled by the opportunity to play a Disney princess. This role was undoubtedly life-changing for her, not just in terms of her career but also in the financial impact it could have on her and her family's future. Yet, because of Disney's decision to race swap Ariel instead of creating a new character or original story, Bailey was subjected to an immense amount of backlash. Despite her grace and professionalism, it's likely that she received personal attacks in her direct messages from individuals upset by the change, turning what should have been a joyous career milestone into a challenging experience. As for the upcoming Snow White remake, it's difficult to see how Disney can salvage the project, no matter how many apologies or justifications are made. Even with multiple rounds of reshoots, or attempts to bring the film closer to the original storyline, the damage has already been done. The initial backlash has grown so intense. It's disheartening to see a young actress, who was simply excited about an incredible opportunity, facing such negativity. The criticism wasn't just about the casting choice, it became a larger conversation about how Disney handles diversity in its adaptations. Instead of crafting a story that naturally includes diverse characters, they seem to force diversity into the mold of existing characters, which led to a polarized audience response. These race-swapped live-action remakes often end up feeling like they were made more for the sake of checking a diversity box than for telling a compelling story that stands on its own. No matter how much effort is put into production, these remakes are often perceived as alternate versions of a beloved narrative rather than as entirely new tales. This approach seems to ensure that the focus will always be on the politics of the casting rather than on the magic of the storytelling, which inherently divides audiences. People end up in heated debates in comment sections online, turning movie releases into battlegrounds of opinion, rather than celebrations of cinema. That it seems almost impossible to regain the goodwill of the fans who feel betrayed by the drastic changes. The idea that this movie could ever cross the billion-dollar mark at the box office now seems highly unlikely. Given the film's massive production costs and marketing expenses, which are reportedly approaching $400 million, Disney would need a significant financial victory just to break even. Disney's predicament isn't merely about production value but rather about damage control. This film was plagued by issues from the beginning creative disagreements, backlash over casting decisions, and widespread discontent over the changes to the classic story. The studio's decision to pour more money into the project, essentially throwing good money after bad, underscores just how desperate they are to avoid a catastrophic flop with the Snow White name attached to it. It's not just about saving a single film, it's about protecting the legacy of a character that is foundational to Disney's identity. Moving forward, one of Disney's biggest challenges will be managing the narrative in the months leading up to the film's release. With promotional interviews set to take place, featuring Rachel Ziegler, Gal Gadot, and others involved in the project, every word they say will be heavily scrutinized. The stakes are high and the potential for missteps is even higher, as the polarized fanbase is likely to dissect each interview with a critical eye. No matter how well rehearsed the cast is or how carefully they try to frame their words, it's unlikely that they'll sway the opinions of those who have already decided not to support the film. Rachel Ziegler, who once sparked debates with her outspoken nature, now seems to have been placed in a more cautious role, presumably to avoid further inflaming the situation. Her evolution from the unapologetic Ziegler to a more subdued and strategic spokesperson is a clear indication of how the studio is attempting to navigate the backlash. However, it's questionable whether this shift will be enough to pacify critics or alter public perception. The reality is that the backlash surrounding these kinds of changes isn't solely about one film or one casting decision. It's about a deeper frustration that audiences feel when they perceive that beloved stories are being altered to fit modern narratives rather than allowing new stories to be told. There's a longing among fans for authenticity, for stories that reflect diversity without seeming like they've been shoehorned into existing templates. Disney has the resources and creativity to explore countless untold tales from around the world, yet they continue to default to remakes that incite controversy rather than excitement. 
If Disney truly wants to make an impact by increasing diversity among its princesses, the answer lies in looking forward rather than backward. Crafting new, original fairy tales that celebrate a variety of cultures and backgrounds would allow them to introduce characters that are naturally diverse. This approach could bring people together in appreciation of new stories that celebrate inclusivity, rather than dividing them with alterations to the classics. In the end, it's not just about preserving the legacy of characters like Snow White, it's about expanding the possibilities for what Disney storytelling can be. By creating a new generation of diverse princesses with their own unique tales, Disney has the opportunity to build a more inclusive future without losing the magic that made its classics beloved in the first place. Until then, the shadow of controversy will likely continue to loom over their adaptations, as fans debate the value of these changes and wonder why Disney hasn't yet chosen to embrace the opportunity to innovate instead of reiterate. The story of Snow White has held a place of reverence in cinematic history for over 85 years. The original animated film, released in 1937, marked a turning point in the world of entertainment. It wasn't just another cartoon, it was the first full-length animated feature film, a groundbreaking achievement that set the foundation for everything Disney has become today. The film's innovative storytelling, beautiful animation, and the enchanting portrayal of Snow White herself earned it not just the love of audiences around the world, but also critical acclaim, including an honorary Oscar for Walt Disney himself. This classic tale, with its simple yet timeless message, remains a cherished piece of Disney's legacy. Snow White's role as a beloved character has transcended generations, and her story has been passed down from grandparents to grandchildren. The movie's impact was so profound that it helped establish Disney as a powerhouse in the entertainment industry. This was the beginning of what we now recognize as Disney magic, a blend of innovation, imagination, and storytelling that has inspired countless films, characters, and theme parks. Without Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Disney might never have become the cultural icon it is today. The legacy of that film laid the groundwork for every animated feature that followed, from Cinderella to The Lion King, and it paved the way for the growth of animated storytelling as a respected art form. Yet, as we fast forward to the present day, it's clear that the reinterpretation of these beloved classics in live-action formats has sparked a divisive conversation among fans and critics alike. On one hand, there is an appreciation for the effort to bring these stories to life in new and visually stunning ways. On the other hand, there is a growing frustration over the constant changes being made to the original narratives, especially when it comes to altering the characters to fit modern ideals or casting choices that don't align with the traditional portrayals, and it remains a reminder of the studio's ability to create stories that resonate across generations. As we await the film's release, the question remains whether this live-action adaptation will be seen as a worthy successor to that legacy or as a well-intentioned but flawed attempt to modernize a beloved classic, 